back to Romania and its world-renowned region of Transylvania, the final stop on what has been a truly epic journey with Scenic. This area is famous for its medieval fortresses and castles. And in the heart of the region, sitting 60 metres above the town of Bran, is one of the most famous of them all. Oh, that is just impressive. It completely just takes over the entire town, doesn't it? Indeed, indeed. It <sighs> it's the king of the landscape, you know. Yes. Brand Castle is believed to have once been the home of Vlad the Impaler, later known worldwide as Dracula. And while there's no historical evidence to support it, the legend of Bram Stoker's Count Dracula remains. I mean, it's not uh, the real Dracula's castle, but this is the castle described by the writer, by Bram Stoker, when he referred to the vampire's castle. So in a way, this is the real place. No, I agree. And I think it's perfect because it does inspire everything that you imagined when he wrote the novel. It inspires Oh, just this imposing nature, it's a little bit gothic, it's a bit scary, and you can totally imagine some fair maiden being taken up there thinking, oh yes, great, I've scored myself a really handsome rich husband, only to have <laughs> her blood sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Dracula is the second most published book in the history after the Bible, you know. No kidding. And it, indeed it is. The castle was in fact gifted to the then Queen of Romania, Marie, in the 1920s, and these days it's a museum in her honour. She made it what it is today, otherwise it would have been a, a, a ruin, since it was almost a ruin from 1836 to 1920, because initially when they built it, it was a military fortress, especially built to defend the borderline. Whether or not you're interested in Bran Castle's darker, bloodthirsty history or not, the tunnels, secret staircases and fascinating tales all add to the mystery and intrigue. So we'll be going for, from the first floor, from the Queen's apartment, straight to the third one, mm -hmm. to the music hall at the third uh, level, through a secret staircase, this one behind us, which is not that secret anymore, used by the soldiers to get to the defence positions at the third and the fourth level. It was literally hidden in the depth of the wall behind the chimney. When they discovered the passage in 1926, after starting the big restoration work, the Queen was thrilled to find out about it. She ordered that the chimney would be moved and this beautiful door to be installed. While the legend behind Bran Castle is what makes it the most visited in Romania, the title of the most beautiful would surely go to Pelish Castle, around an hour's drive south of the town of Bran. in the 19th century as the summer residence of the first king of Romania, its design and appearance, as well as its lavish interiors, make it more of a palace than a castle. Now this is the reception hall, the main hall of honour, where the majesties were receiving the guests. It would have been nice to be the same for us now. Oh, look, I do feel received. The, the, the actual entrance itself is receiving us. It's so grand. It is grand. It's uh, overwhelming, this room. The grand interiors are mostly in the style of German Renaissance, but there's also elements of Gothic, Baroque and French Rococo. This is the King's waiting room before the study. It's uh, the room that is connected with the main hall and the guests were coming from that room and next invited in the study. What I still can't get over is how beautiful the wood. I mean, it's so distinctive to this residence with the romanticism of all these geometry. It's um, original woodwork that dates from 1883. They've used walnut and oak wood. Pellish Castle was a benchmark for the times in terms of its extravagance with a 60-seat private theatre, a weapons room housing over 4,000 pieces from Asia and Europe, a concert hall and a private music room. 